Princess Diana was desperate to make her marriage with Prince Charles work, but Camilla Parker Bowles didn't give her the chance, a royal biographer suggests. In the 2017 Amazon Prime documentary Diana, The Woman Inside, Ken Wharf, former royal protection officer, revealed that Princess Diana would have welcomed a possible reconciliation with the Prince of Wales in the terminal stages of their marriage. Mr. Wharf explained the people's princess wanted their marriage to succeed for their two children, Prince William and Prince Harry. She desperately wanted to make it work, the princess personal trainer Carolyn Brown agreed. Unfortunately, Camilla Parker Bowles didn't give the couple a chance to fix their marriage. Camilla didn't keep her distance from Prince Charles and she didn't leave the future king alone to fix his marital issues with Princess Diana. Camilla never went away, Mr. Worf explained. Biographer Tom Bauer claimed in his book Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles that the Queen was furious with Camilla for the same reason. Mr. Bauer said, she couldn't forgive the Duchess of Cornwall for not giving the Prince and Princess of Wales the chance to save their marriage. She would not condone his adultery, nor forgive Camilla for not leaving Charles alone to allow his marriage to recover. Mr. Bauer also revealed in his explosive book how Camilla Parker Bowles had previously referred to Princess Diana as that mad cow and argued that she had little right to complain about her affair with Prince Charles. Diana in a 1995 BBC Panorama interview, famously said there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Former royal butler Paul Burrell wrote in his 2003 book A Royal Duty, how both the prince and the princess were told that they must learn to compromise, be less selfish and try to work through their difficulties for the sake of the monarchy, their children, the country and its people. But as the world knows, Diana wasn't willing to be in a marriage of three forever and Charles wasn't willing to quit Camilla Parker Bowles, so the old-fashioned way more common when in 1992, when Charles and Diana actually separated. Mr. Bauer wrote, blame fell on Camilla. Many times, her critics believed, she could have stood back to allow Charles and Diana to reconcile. Instead, she coldly pushed her rival aside. The climax was a confrontation between the two women in 1989 when Diana arrived unexpectedly at a birthday party at the socialite Annabelle Goldsmith's house in Ham, near Richmond, southwest London. Charles was with Diana, while both the Parker Bowles, Camilla and her then-husband, Andrew, were already there. The 2018 biography explains how when the rest of the room fell suddenly silent, Diana challenged Camilla to leave Charles alone. He said, while ignoring the hurt she was causing, Camilla controlled her fury and commented only about Diana's unacceptable behavior in the private house. The princess, she said, was poorly placed to complain. Unlike Camilla, who confined herself to a single relationship, Diana, she had been told by friends, was working her way through the lifeguards. Diana fans have clearly not forgiven Camilla for her affair with Prince Charles while he was married to the princess who died in a tragic car crash in Paris in 1997. During Camilla's 70th birthday celebrations last year, royal watchers took to Twitter to express their anger over the Duchess. One Twitter user said, She is the reason behind the destruction that happened to the family, she didn't leave him alone even though she knows he is married and he has children. The Prince of Wales married Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005 and he will decide whether to make her Queen Camilla one day despite controversy surrounding her future title. Until then there is ongoing uncertainty over Camilla's potential title, which will not be officially confirmed until Charles eventually succeeds the Queen.